what are the allied medical or paramedical fields that one can try for? So I think uh, uh, Gunwant already talked about those, but uh, let me just briefly give you some idea. So there are lots and lots of uh, these uh, paramedical or so-called allied fields that you can uh, look at. I mean, uh, my wife actually, she is here sitting here. She is a speech and language therapist. So that is one field that you can look at. So although she started off as an audiologist and uh, speech therapist, but now even in that, it, there are so many branches. So, so uh, you know, there is adult audiology, pediatric audiology, you have pediatric speech, adult speech. Similarly for, you know, other fields like there, there is physiotherapy. So again in physiotherapy, there will, you will find that there are so many subspecialties. People are going into uh, specialties like sports medicine. So you'll have therapists catering only to sports people. Right? You now, uh, with the ongoing IPL, you would have seen each and every team is having a huge number of all these therapists uh, along with them. You know, each player is assigned one therapist. So you'll have a sports medicine person along with that uh, uh, team and the player. So similarly, there are occupational therapy. Uh, so th there are innumerable fields that you can look into. You know, optometry, for example. So many of them, uh, as I said earlier also, sky is the limit. You just have to decide and choose. If you don't get into MBBS, it doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Right? There are many people who have done these kind of allied specialities and now they are successful in their fields. Many of them are not even in India. In fact, they are sitting somewhere abroad. They're making good amount of money. They're having a good life and they're quite happy. Right? Many of the, uh, the other attractive thing about these allied fields is there is no emergency like we have, for example. Most of the mainstream medical specialities will have emergencies. You'll have to get up in the middle of the night and attend to those patients. But most of these allied fields, you will not come across emergencies in them. So you'll have the liberty of choosing your time. Right? I wish to do only 9 to 4. Fine, you can do that. I wish to work only in my clinic. You can do that. You can have your own setup. I wish to work in some hospital. You can do that. I wish to go to a patient's home and do it. I, of course, you can do that. So these are the things that you can look into. I mean, don't focus only on MBBS. There are these specialities which you can look into. So uh, you can just Google nowadays. It's very easy to get this information. You can just Google and there'll be so many specialties that you will come across. So uh, this is not the right. Uh, I mean, we don't, of course, have, the, you know, have enough time to talk about all those fields, but you can just Google. But all I mean to say is that don't give up hope if you don't get into MBBS, right? That is, that is not the end of the road. There are these specialities that you can also look into. Great.